You clicked on this video because you've seen Unreal Engine 5 do things like this, but your projects look like this. <gasps> UE5 is a bit overwhelming. Everyone says that it can be used to do everything, but unless you know what you're doing, it feels like it can't do anything. But you started using Unreal to express your quirky, crazy, maybe a little bit weird ideas. <laughs> And by the end of this video, we will get you back on track. Consider this a pep talk. That's how winning is done. Well, what do you want to do with Unreal? Make epic photos? Cinematics? A new game? With so many possibilities, you need to narrow your learning. The last thing you want to do is open Unreal Engine for the first time without a plan. Because when you know what you want to do, you can look at the tools that'll help you get where you're going. But regardless of what you plan to do in Unreal Engine, there's one thing that is essential to your success, and that's subscribing to this YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, but seriously, it's the content browser and the world outliner. And not so much the browser and outliner itself, but how you use it, how you package things in it. Because if you want to make anything in Unreal Engine, you have to be able to find those assets. The worst thing you could do is just loosely throw all of those pieces in the exact same folder and it just, it's lost forever. It's, it's like people who leave random files and screenshots on their desktop. And if you're one of those people, I just can't even look at you. Save your progress. Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean to come across so- Save your progress. Oh, sorry. Just bad memories. They ask you how you are, you have to say that you're fine. You see, Unreal Engine has a crashing problem. It's just gonna happen. And you need to save a lot. And by save, I mean save in multiple places. Make sure your file save alling. Make sure your content browser is save alling. And if you're working in sequencer, save all. Why is it like that? I don't know. But, um, I have a fully specced out computer. <laughs> so do we, okay? It's gonna happen. Okay, that was intense, but memorable. Save your progress. UE5 has like a hundred ways to do anything. And there'll be people on the internet who saying, this is the way to do it, or, no, 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 that's actually the way to do it. But if you find the way that works best for you and you feel comfortable with it, then, that's the way to do it. Like moving actors around in the engine. Are you gonna be using those drag arrows or are you gonna be using the numeric values? If you're one of the people who uses numeric values, I have some, both work, both work. They do this, they do the same thing. And lastly, the most important thing of all, your expectations, that's right. They're too high. <laughs> so condescending. But seriously, imagine swinging a baseball bat for the first time and expecting to hit a home run. It's not gonna happen. It's a hard lesson to take, but here's the solution. Spend more time in engine. That's it. If you don't practice, then you won't get better. And if you don't get better, then you're gonna wanna quit. Sure, at the beginning, you're gonna feel like you don't have a grasp on anything. Then you look back on the progress that you've made and you'll be amazed. Just like our friend Arthur. In just four months, he went from never opening Unreal Engine before to consulting on virtual production TV shows. Arthur shared his secrets with us and how he got so good so fast in this video right here. 